Choosing bigger cancels professional photographer for cheaper photos, regrets it and demands free photos from the professional. Client booked me for a wedding at $3,200. This is a full package with engagement session, boudoir shoots. <laughs> Isn't that what Homer did in that episode for Marge? Where he's taking photos of himself in the basement? Is that what boudoir is? Sorry, it probably isn't. I have have no idea. Engagement party or bachelorette party and a full day coverage up to 10 hours. But she found someone who was only charging her $50 for wedding photos and ended up cancelling after paying the deposit. Understanding that her deposit was non-refundable as it says on her ticket and a contract. I'd viewed the other photographer's work and when she told me the name during cancellation, I could tell it was someone who was either using a phone or just starting in the industry. I assumed that the client was cancelling me, that she had already done her research and decided that it was the kind of photos that she wanted, so I didn't say anything. But fast forward to today, a week after her wedding, she sent me a very long message about how cruel it was that I didn't stop her from switching photographers. Oh yeah, because it's their fault and how unhappy she was with her wedding photos <laughs> and how I now owe her a newlywed session to make up for my mistake. I haven't responded to this client yet as I really don't know the proper way to respond. I've never had someone message me saying something anything like this and it keeps going. Yeah, um, don't respond. <laughs> like there's no way anything good is gonna come out of this. Responding would be just a waste of time. Surely. Imagine having the audacity to be like, oh, okay, because I turned you down and I went with some other photographer that turned out to be crap. I'm angry at you because I turned you down. Oh, it makes your blood boil. <laughs> like, I have no idea who you are and I feel so bad for you. But yeah, definitely just ignore whoever this is. Wow, the audacity. I can't believe that. It's such a good post, but it's so frustrating. <laughs> and that's what makes it so good. I think we're in for a frustrating time today, guys. I made sure to leave it five or so days before coming back to the Choosing Beggars subreddit. Welcome back, by the way, guys. Just as so we had the juiciest, most frustrating posts ever, and I'm pretty sure we're in for it today. Like, I don't want to say that I'm already annoyed, but <laughs> I kind of am. The first one was unbelievable. So yeah, guys, sit back, relax, and let's try not to lose any faith in humanity. My friend's wedding venue is a beautiful and a good price, but because the beggar's not willing to pay to have time to decorate and live in our moment, they're gonna leave a bad review. Can you give me about price, more details? Yeah, um, you can find the pricing here. How much is it for all day? Wedding, $2,000. So what consists of all day? 6 a.m. till 12 midnight? 10 hours, you can find all package details at the website, along with a tour. So, this even goes for our decorators? Yeah, that is correct. We have a two-day package for 2800 that gets a five hours the night before, or you can add $100 per hour extra on the day of. Yeah, thank you for the information, but I'll look for another one, because this is not enough time for us. I will write a review. This is is not the place to be recommended for a wedding. Excuse me? Thanks? My friend recommended me, but I don't think so. I live out of state. Yeah, but why would you write a negative review about my business when you haven't even been in it? Well, it's beautiful, but the price is 2800 Is a good price, but no time to decorate and live in our moment. You can add as much time as you want. A 
100 for each additional hour, though. Yeah, I understand it's not a fit for you. I just don't understand why you would take the time to review my business poorly to others. No worries. Thanks for checking with us. Have a great weekend. Yeah, wow. So now somebody is going to probably read their review and think twice about using these people. Yeah, like the top comment says, I really wish you could add screenshots when you reply to reviews. Yeah, like people need to call these people out on this. People that just review places badly for no reason. It's not okay. Okay, so this one just says, crazy person wants a free place to live. I am an artist and I have a small baby son. We live in so-and-so and I'm looking to find a home that wants us. <laughs> I love this already. We want a nice place to live that is safe and free of charge with a loyal and family-like people to live with. I would also like food provided. <laughs> oh, you've got to be joking. I'm a vegan and so is my son. We are very kind and gentle and do not like aggressive, mean or manipulative types of people. We are clean and organized and have good taste and try very hard. We're looking for something long term that is beautiful, preferably top floor, not underneath anyone and clean. No dirty animals that aren't well taken care of. Oh my god, how dare you? <laughs> we do love animals and want to be around some of them, but we seek a permanent place where there is a barrier between us and the outer world where abuse exists. Friendly and easygoing, honest and willing to do gardening, light home improvement, tutoring, gardening, shopping and cooking, in brackets vegan only. I can offer art lessons or artwork as a gift. No money grubbers, no neon demon. We need protection and safety and a good life full of fun <laughs> and enriched for a good future for my son. Oh my god, what are we reading? You want this for free and you want food provided? Oh man. <laughs> Infuriating. Open to different types of situations, but nothing weird. We want our own space and privacy respected. <laughs> Not open to being a live-in girlfriend or a slave. Romance is great and hopefully in my future, but I want a good green family to be with and to grow with that we can trust. We don't have any pets in quotation marks, but we would like to have some fish. Please email or message me if you have a place to check out and send pictures. Thank you. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, um, how dare you? Like the top comment says, I just find it weird when someone has the audacity to post a request like this. Free home with specifications with the free food and that the pets are clean. Delusional. Anyway, I'm looking for the same nice home, penthouse please, lots of cats and a live-in chef. All free, please email or DM me. Yeah, 100% delusional. <laughs> like, there's no other way to put it. And there's not really a nice way to put it either. Have you lost your mind? <laughs> no, but for real, that's unbelievable. Please tell me it isn't real. Famous Charity is on one today. The PS is outrageous. Major narcissist grandma vibes. Dear friend, when they told me that your membership has expired, I couldn't believe it. I just can't believe that someone so dedicated to conservation would walk away from the critical challenges we face. Not when polar bears, the world's largest carnivores on land, with males weighing up to 1,500 pounds, are threatened by habitat loss and global warming and need our urgent help. I don't believe that you intended to let your membership expire. Yeah, I don't think guilt tripping them is gonna work. I believe that you will continue to stand with us. And that's why I'm personally sending you this annual membership renewal. If you respond quickly, your membership benefits will be reactivated. But even more importantly, you'll provide the critical funding that our membership provides. Program funds that are needed now to protect polar bears and other species and to preserve the habitat that they need to survive. Polar bears are special indeed, but so are supporters like 
you. I don't want to lose you. Please renew your annual membership today. Thank you. P.S. When you joined, you made a commitment to wildlife conservation. We still need your help urgently, so please return your annual membership renewal today. Thank you. Wow. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> yeah, like the top comment says, it would be much smarter for them to say, we understand that money is tight these days. Thank you for your years of donations and please think of us again in the future. Cheers. Yeah, but no, they're just gonna guilt trip them, which would never work. <laughs> like, no way. They're just gonna be like, oh, okay, you're super ungrateful and they'll just leave. <laughs> <laughs> like, whose idea was this? People need, like, proofreaders or something. Somebody to be like, you know what? <laughs> Maybe this isn't a great idea. I'm getting a $500 chair tomorrow. An Instagram influencer conversation with a keyboard company. Okay, here we go. Hi, I was contacting you because I keep seeing y'all collab with the friends of mine. But y'all told me that you don't have that plan yet. Yeah, please. Please note, we don't have this plan to work with you. Well, that's what should have been said because it was a very confusing. May I ask why? So they had told me they didn't have this plan twice, which to me means they don't do collabs right. But then I kept seeing people promote for them, so I asked about it. Then they asked this, so I like to ask why to find out what things I need to work on to make my account better. And look what they said. You don't have many fans and our keyboards are expensive so we can't just send samples to everyone but we could offer you a 15% off code for the purchase. You also can join our affiliate to earn the commissions. Yeah, there's nothing rude about this. I mean to me, the way they said this came off very rudely. Like, is it me? Yes. 100%. <laughs> because that comes off hella rude. They really should have said that another way. Sorry, I don't have many fans and I've been sent more expensive things than a $150 keyboard. So I said this. Well, I get that and I've worked hard for the followers that I have and the quality of my followers is also amazing. I have so many big accounts that follow me and are friends. Like so and so and I've known her for two years and so and so follows me and so and so follows me and that's just a few. I've gotten so so many of my friends and followers to buy the items that I promote that are worth a lot more. I'm getting a $500 chair tomorrow. I really think that companies like y'all don't realize how hard we influencers work to get the perfect photos and reels and how much time we spend editing. I will spend hours of work editing. Yeah, but you're not entitled to anything. And standing at my desk or wherever to get great shots, we all do and it's it's a lot of work, so we do earn what we promote. I was asking to see if it was something I could fix, but the way you said that was a bit rude. I will be letting my fans know. I'll watch to see as well if you've sent out items to smaller accounts. And it cuts off. Yeah, have a nice day. <laughs> I honestly would have bought it if it weren't for the way y'all conversed with me. I just spent $250 on a keyboard, so I do spend hella money. I just really want wanted to work with y'all, but now I feel like trash with the way y'all replied to me. Well, we're sorry that we made you uncomfortable. This is also the truth. We can't work with everyone. We didn't mean to offend you. I know that companies can't work with everyone. I've been doing influencer work for over a year, so I understand that, but it really should have been said another way. So, their only issue is because they said you don't have enough fans, and that was it? You know, like, it's obviously something that they work really hard on and they pour a lot of their energy into. So I do understand being frustrated if, you know, you feel like that's been insulted. But yeah, the best thing to do is just move on. Like, the company is right. They can't work with everyone. You know, like, imagine how many millions of accounts there are on Instagram that post nice photos of keyboards. Like, they actually can't work with everyone. You know, I sort of feel bad and I do sympathize a little bit because they, you know, they pour a lot of their heart into their work, obviously. But yeah, it still doesn't mean you're entitled to anything. After asking 
$30 off my Xbox, delivery 40 miles away. Now he wants it dropped off for payment someday in the future. I'm out of town now. If you want to drop it off at my shop, so-and-so located downtown, I can test it and make sure everything works. I can PayPal you or have cash waiting next time we meet up. Yeah, um, it's pretty safe to say that they will never pay you. <laughs> 100% And yeah, I think that's enough choosing beggars for today, guys I'm going red in the face <laughs> I'm so infuriated No, I'm just really warm in this But the choosing beggars were very annoying today When you meet somebody new and you hit it off immediately Oh, look at the donkey <laughs> So cute I haven't met a donkey in a long time But yeah, that's a very true and very very sweet and I love people like that. Like, oh my god <laughs> we're gonna be the best of friends. I already know it. We're soulmates but you know, like in a friend version. When you come home after a long tiring day of work and you fall asleep on your seal beanbag. <laughs> so cute. Oh my god, and they're pulling the same face. I didn't even realize that. Look how cozy that little fella is. <laughs> so cute. I can't wait to have more cats. When you're achieving a milestone and your friends are suddenly asking you about your plans for the next month. Oh my god, chicken run! Those chickens are up to something. Oh my god, that's so cute. I love that movie so much. That's like my childhood right there. They used to scare me so much. In particular, the one in the back. Young Vincy was terrified of that lady. Thank you for watching, guys. That was so fun and only a little bit infuriating. And yeah, thank you for joining me. I couldn't have done it without you guys. Genuinely, though, reading this stuff is a way less scary when I'm making a video and like I know that you guys aren't actually here with me right now but it feels like you are so yeah thank you for watching which in turn makes it feel like we're all hanging out which makes this a less terrifying I really appreciate it the comment of the day today goes to sect off Ice? Vincy needs a P.O. box so that we can send all the beautiful fedoras from all around the world. Yeah, 100%. <laughs> like, if you guys send me fedoras in the mail, this needs to happen. I need to organize this. You send a fedora, I'll wear it in a neckbeard video. I don't know about you, but that sounds like a beautiful idea. Okay, I think it's definitely Simpsons time, guys. So yeah, with that being said, thank you for all you do. I really appreciate it. Have a beautiful rest of your day and I'll see you next time. Okay, bye!